Hi everybody, it's Greg and Eric. We are here today doing a little smart thermostat action. You can see our nest on the wall, but we're bringing the new game in town, the Ecobee 3. The Ecobee 3 includes this handy little sensor that you can use in other rooms besides the room where the thermostat is actually installed. And so what that means is you can ensure that your other rooms that maybe in the past have gotten too hot during the summer or too cold during the winter actually can be a more comfortable temperature for you. So let's go ahead and we will open this puppy up, take a look at all of the things that are included in the box and then we'll go ahead and install it. Well, here's our Echo B3 box. Included inside, we've got this handy dandy plastic shell, we'll remove that. So here's the thermostat right there. <clears throat> That's what we're gonna be putting on the wall. It's actually a little smaller than what the promotional materials and website make it look like. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger, but it is a nice compact size. Set that to the side here. Here's the little sensor we were talking about. This is the one that you can put in another room and you can use that to even out the temperatures in cold and hot rooms that normally get ignored by your thermostat. Underneath, we have our mounting hardware here, a little fancy holder to keep the sensor up in a room or wherever we wanna put it. Now this is interesting too, it includes this little wiring harness which you can use if you do not have a C wire on your, on your HVAC system. So the C cable is also called the common cable is the way that these smart thermostats get power. Now most modern homes will have a C wire that is running to where the thermostat is installed, but in some cases, uh, for older homes particularly, the C wire may not be there. You can use this to get power to the place where your thermostat is installed. And then finally, underneath, we have this fancy trim set that we can use to cover up any imperfections around. And then of course the user guides. We've got a quick start guide, an installation guide in English and in French. We wanna turn off the furnace first and foremost. So we actually have two here that we need to turn off, but we should be good to go now. So now we're gonna take this nest off. All we need is a screwdriver, or if you like to do things a little more quickly. Now the nest, you just pop it off. We'll set that down. Now, you can see when we wired the nest, they also gave us these handy little stickers, which were also included in the Ecobee box. And it allows you to make sure you can label everything that's hooked in so that you don't miss something. We're just gonna pop all these out. I'm gonna set down the screwdriver. Now we'll remove the nest base plate. If they made it the same dimension. Ooh, and it looks like it might work because look at this, we have one of these little adjustable numbers. What do those Canadians think of? Looks like we're just a little bit off. Go ahead and mount it with these handy dandy screws that came in the Ecobee kit. So now we'll do the wiring. We're going to put R, this is RH, so we'll put RH right here. You have these little holes, you just put that switch down and plug that in. We're all wired up and ready to go, so let's head back and turn on the furnace. The moment of truth, we just turned the power back on. We are now gonna mount the thermostat onto the base plate and we will see what happens. Just snap it in and hopefully it'll come to life. Ah, look at that, it says hi. How do they say hi in Canada? Please give me a moment while I stretch my wings. We get this nice bee flying around. This is fancy. Oh, here we go. Select which terminals have wires connected, RH only, RC, and RH. Now I'll just mention as we're doing this, typically you do not need to, if you have a RC and an RH cable, you don't need to connect both of them. Uh, 
that's what they say in the manual anyways. Mine does not, I only have RH only, so I'm gonna click next here. And here's what it's detected for wiring. Green, yellow one, white one, red, and the common blue. So, smart thermostat, it knows what's connected. We're gonna choose Fahrenheit since we are in the US. Do you want the fan to be controlled by the thermostat or your HVAC equipment? Now let's talk about this really quick because this is kind of interesting. With these smart thermostats, they can control the fan separately. So what happens is it'll shut your compressor off and keep your fan running. So what that means is those coils are still cold after the compressor turns off. So the fan can continue to get some cool air off those coils by continuing to run. So let's let the thermostat do that. Smart home and away. Now this is a cool little feature. This little, probably hard to see, but there's a little sensor here down here. And then on our handy dandy <clears throat> extra room sensor, there's also a sensor that can tell if you're home or away. So what this will do is if it senses that no one's been in the house, it'll actually switch to away mode. I kind of like that feature. I like that feature on the Nest. I think it's a great way to make sure that if you're out and about, and especially if it's a hot summer and your air conditioning is running a lot or a cold winter, no need to be running that stuff while you're gone. The accessory has joined the Wi-Fi. We are set up. Boom. And there you have it folks. The Echo B3 is now set up and ready to roll. The Echo B3. Thanks for watching us do the first impressions and install the Echo B3. We think this is going to turn out to be a really cool, smart thermostat for the home here. Can't wait to kick the tires a little more. We'll follow up with any other observations that we have as we've had a chance to use it in our home. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments you'd like us to address, feel free to leave them, send us an email, leave a comment below. We'll answer your questions about the Echo B3. Again, it's a nice little smart thermostat. We're happy to have it in the home. Please stay tuned for future videos. We're gonna be covering some other things here, some other cool stuff in the future. We're gonna talk some more about those Lutron Cassettas that we installed last week. And also, we plan on doing a little deeper dive and checking out the Philips Hue lights, which are pretty cool. So, in the meantime, find out more information, homehackshq.com. Thanks for watching.